Welcome to Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole, hosted by two nationally published Atlanta interior designers, Joanne Kandrak and Kelly Cole. These energetic women are also world travelers, charity givers, and bloggers with a wealth of information to share and stories to tell about the interior design world. Okay, now just a warning, this is going to be fun and not too serious. After all, they still do have an interior design business running at full speed. Hey, everybody. This is Joanne Kandrak, and this is episode 101, Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole, 2021 Kitchen and Bath Trends from KBiz Virtual. So KBiz is the kitchen and bath industry show known as North America's largest trade show dedicated to all aspects of kitchen and bath design. So it's our profession's way to see the latest products, innovations, and hear from many industry leaders. So this show This year was all virtual, February 9th through the 12th, although, unfortunately, there was a catastrophic server failure that caused large parts of the show to crash. That is such a bummer, but it still did continue. The the conference was intended to offer an exhibit floor function through a platform called KBiz Connect, where attendees could visit digital booths but when the show began on tuesday the function started to falter with the site crashing oh gosh so meanwhile many of the bigger industry players like signature kitchen suite and kohler had developed their own platforms so kelly and i last year couldn't make it yep and so we had asked our design colleagues to fill us in on what they saw so this year we were so busy with new projects that we couldn't even attend the virtual show. I was bummed. So here we are. We're lucky to have our several industry friends who spoke to us, many of them design hounds from Odanus, who via our speak pipe button on our website to share their finds, their new introductions from the show. Based on the technical problems, many of the items they're sharing were from Signature Kitchen Suites and Kohler with a few others mixed in. So, like Joanne said, we have this cool thing. When you go to our website, candrack com, there is a button, a blue button on the right-hand side that says, speak to us. And you can really leave us any message there you want, but we reached out to all of our design friends and said, hey, you know, if you guys went to the KBiz virtual show, we want to hear what the latest stuff is. So, go on there and please leave us a message. So we're going to let you listen to nine of our friends that called in and gave us the skinny. And after each one, we'll kind of discuss what they talked about. So the first one is our friend Shannon. Hello, it's Shannon Gem of Shannon Gem Design in Malibu, California. And I can't wait to share with you what I saw at KBiz 2021, the virtual event. You guys, I saw so much matte finish. Low sheen finishes on countertops, on cabinetry, on appliances. Everywhere I looked, low sheen finishes. Really, really beautiful to see. I think it's going to go on for a long time. And it's following step with what my clients are asking for in their homes. Washable mat, low VOC or no VOC paints and uh, plaster treatments. Just that lovely low sheen. I also noticed a lot of induction and... The Rise of the Phoenix, so much of that beautiful Phoenix material. It's a luxury laminate that goes on cabinetry. And boy, did I see a lot of gorgeous installations of Phoenix spelled with an F. That's really interesting. You know, this reminds me so much of that European look. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. When we went to Salon de Mobile Mm -hmm. in Milan, uh, how many years ago was that? Five at least. Oh my gosh. That's when we first saw the mat finishes and it's taken this long to Mm -hmm. come to the states Mm -hmm. and really kind of it's been around but it's really exploding now even like marble you know you look at marble and think about it as being very polished well it's it's that polished look is really not not seen as much anymore we're we're, what's called either leathered finished or a honed finish Mm -hmm. where there is no no sheen but i love it if you do i love the mix so if you have a a shine somewhere else maybe a, a glass or, backsplash or a something. glass or you have or you or you do have a chrome or a shinier metal somewhere in the space whether you're it's your lighting or whatever the matte looks so good with it so yeah that was interesting and i'm particularly interested in the phoenix i have not looked at that laminate yet Mm-mm. but joanne and i were introduced to the power of laminate a couple of years ago while custom designing 
concierge desks for some commercial spaces we were working on that look like beautiful stone and wood. And there, it's just, you can't hurt the stuff. Yeah. And the our, our artisans love it because it's so easy to work with and, and, and inexpensive because, you know, it comes in sheets. Yeah, well, and multifamily too. You know, wood yeah. chips, wood, you know, it just, it, it can take a beating for sure. Yeah, so, and Shannon, your voice is like velvet it's Mm -hmm. she's better than siri and alexa i think i know (laughs) okay so our next um contributor is veronica miller eagleson from modanus all right you guys it's veronica and i am using your speak pipe to pipe away about cabis 2021 notable things for people to go check out and this is all hosted on the nkba.org website at the moment is uh, uh, definitely all the sessions in and around NKBA Global Connect. If you're interested in trends and favorite finds, product finds from around Europe, go check those ses- sessions out. They're really, really great. Um, then also take a look in terms of new product introductions, Signature Kitchen Suite, convertible under-counter uh, refrigerator freezer drawers. That means they're 24 inches wide and um, you can make them either all freezer or all fridge or one of each. And uh, so they're, all the designers are telling me that's a game changer. So that's very, very cool. Uh, also, not a new product introduction, but my favorite is uh, Signature Kitchen Suites Craft Ice Maker, which does completely clear ice in different shapes. So go scope that out as well. And then um, the plum one dispenser. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention them because it's so cool and it's taking over the world. And uh, yeah, check our show out, Design Uncut, also on nkba.org on all things smart home and design. See ya. Wow, that's a lot of good stuff. That Veronica were, is in yeah. the know yeah, all the time. She's definitely in the know. I do know this craft ice maker, one of our contributors, Elizabeth Scruggs, she has that particular refrigerator freezer and she had she had shown a, a photo of their round ice cubes I, I they're so cool there's something about ice that seriously if if i go i, I travel to qt or chick-fil-a just so i can get that beautiful pellet ice or zaxby's has it too um but seriously if yeah. i go to a restaurant and i get a glass of diet coke or whatever mm-hmm. with a big those big old timey rectangular ice cube. I'm like seriously bummed out. Yeah. I mean ice yeah. is a big thing. Yeah. Craft craft ice maker, so signature kitchen sweet. The refrigerator freezer drawer. Game changer. That's really cool. I yeah. mean if you want to well, I guess someone else is going to talk about this so I won't say it. But then the plum wine dispenser I don't even know what that is. Well, we're all just spending so much more time at home. Our homes have become our restaurants and our hotels. So why not, you know, add a little luxury element? What I love about the kitchen and freezer drawers, and we're going to hear about it more with some other contributors, is, you know, when you're really designing a kitchen and you have a small space or you want to add, you know, you want to add, you just can be so flexible. It could be. And the fact that you can change it, you can change it from Mm -hmm. freezer or Mm -hmm. refrigerator, right? Yes. So it depends on your yeah. needs. So you're yeah. having a party, you have tons of beverages, it's a refrigerator. They're both It's winter time, you've gone to Costco or whatever, you have a lot of food to store. It's a freeze. I mean, I just love it. Yeah. And 24 inches. That's a great, you know, size that can slip in anywhere. Smart. They, they just get smarter and smarter, smarter, and smarter. smarter in the kitchen yep. and baths. Yep. All right. Next up, we have Susie. Do you say her last name, Faye? Mm, I think it's, it's Fia. No, it's Fia. F-E-I-A. Fia. From Fia Construction. Hi, I'm Susie Fia. I'm the owner of Fia Construction, a design build firm in Waukesha, Wisconsin. I've been in business for 30 plus years, so I've been to a lot of KBiz shows and it's always exciting to see what they're introducing every year. It's hard to pick one favorite because they had a lot of terrific innovative products introduced this year. But one that I'm going to share with you is the new Kohler kitchen faucet called Tone. Well, it can come in a single finish. It also comes in a two-tone finish. And one of my personal favorites is the matte black and brass. It's absolutely stunning. It's just a gorgeous looking faucet. Also, I was very happy to see that they've expanded their touchless faucets too. So that option is now available in the majority of their kitchen faucets. Um, I do kitchen touchless kitchen faucets as a standard feature in my kitchen remodels. So it was exciting to see that I will have the option of offering my clients that benefit, but also in whatever style they're looking for too. 
That's very interesting that she uses the touches as a standard that's, in her designs. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I, I think we're going to see. I think we're yeah, going to see more and more of that. I have the matte black and brass kitchen faucet actually from Brizo at my lake house, and I get comments on it. Every time somebody new walks in the house, they're like, what is that faucet? And it's just it's it's just simply cool. It's yeah. a really... I mean, definitely a faucet's functional, but I think there are some beautiful ones that really... Right. And if you're sitting there going, what's a touchless faucet? There's, there's several different variations. The one I think that Susie's speaking of is from Kohler, where you literally just, you put your hands underneath the faucet and it turns on. Kind of like you do in a public restroom. Yeah, exactly. Whereas the one that I have in my kitchen from Brizo, I just tap it with any, it can be elbow, arm, little pinky, and it turns on. And it's just great if your hands are really icky with kit, mm-hmm. with chicken or they're just, you yeah. don't want to touch it. Um, and it, But it's just super on off. And yeah, I think it should be a standard in every kitchen. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. a nice, nice feature. All right. Next, we're going to hear from Elizabeth Scruggs. Hey, Kelly and Joanne, it's Elizabeth Scruggs from Superior Construction and Design up here in Tennessee. Um, I wanted to share a few products with y'all that I saw at KBiz last week that I thought your listeners might um, enjoy hearing about. The first one was from Signature Kitchen Suite, which is a luxury brand of appliances by LG. And it is an under counter two drawer refrigerator, which I thought was so great because how many times do we need uh, a little extra refrigeration space, maybe in a media room or a beverage station, but these drawers actually can be set as freezers too. So you could have one drawer for refrigeration and one drawer for a freezer, or you can have two of each. Um, It was really sleek, good looking, and it just tucked right in under the, the countertop. So I loved that. The second item that I saw was from LG and it was the LG wash tower. And this is a one piece unit and it's full size washer and dryer, but take up half the space of a traditional washer and dryer. So I thought this was really great for like the new designs where we're doing and we're seeing in laundry rooms now, where we might want to incorporate um, a wash station for our pets or what have you. Um, and this was also hooked up to their thin Q technology, which is just great. Um, Anyway, that's just a snippet of what I saw. Lots of goodness out there. And um, I hope to see y'all soon. Once again, everybody loves that under counter, but it was true. I didn't really think it doesn't have to go in a kitchen. It could go in a media room. Absolutely. And like I said, our homes are now our hotels, our fitness, our fitness centers, mm-hmm. our everything. So think about it. You know, we're doing a, we are doing a new house right now for, a, for a gentleman and his first floor bedroom. He's making kind of his game room slash man cave football watching space. And he's going to want drinks in there because his kitchen mm-hmm. is upstairs and this is on the first floor. Yeah. So having that drawer is would well, be so great. Think about it too. If you're even let's say you had like teen kids or whatever, and you have three levels. So let's just say they're hanging out in their space and they want to make a pizza or whatever. Well, you could have that small, you could have enough room to have like a frozen pizza and then you have a, a microwave on the countertop or whatever. So well, think, I think about think about for your wellness room that you're putting together right now. She Joanne has an extra bedroom. She's going to turn it into a fitness slash wellness room. You could have one of those in a you know in a counter with water bottles, um, fresh towels that you've sprayed. You yes. know you've put oh. some lemon or excuse me lavender essential oils on mm-hmm. and you've made them cold. You know put on after your workout. Oh. I mean there's so in a ma- in a master bedroom. You know oh, yeah. have drinks right there in your office it's yeah it's great lg they really are up on what's you know what people are looking for and they're always coming out with innovative great stuff and the lg wash tower great idea to save the room for a pet you know spa or or more room a to styler. hang clothing and yeah all that. well think about it i always kind of think stackable washer dryers are like uh, and that's for like when you're desperate and you don't have any room but really what it why they've made it is because there's so many new amazing laundry components out there especially LG and Signature Kitchen Suites is a leader here where you have like the styler we've talked about mm-hmm. where you can do a quick steam or dry clean of clothes it's in a tower or like like Joanne said a lot of people are making kind of mini mini wash areas for their dogs so if you're gonna kind of squeeze all this into a laundry type space well it sounds like you're not sacrificing space no she said it's a regular size yeah so yeah i mean i think it's awesome Mm -hmm. excellent all right next up is our friend ariane belazar 
Hi, Joan and Kelly. It's Ariane Belazier, owner of Ariane Belazier Interiors in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I wanted to drop you this quick little voice note to tell you about one of my very favorite products that I discovered at KBiz Virtual this year. It comes to us from Signature Kitchen Suite, and it is the convertible 24-inch um, dual drawer under counter refrigerator unit. That might not be the technical name of it, but uh, it is an under counter refrigerator unit. It is two drawers and it is convertible. And by convertible, I mean that in either of the drawers, you can decide as the homeowner whether you want it to be a refrigerator or a freezer simply by adjusting the temperature of each drawer. So you can have one refrigerator, one freezer or two refrigerators or two freezers or a wine cooler. I mean, it's just got so many uh, possibilities and it allows the homeowner to actually have the flexibility of changing the functionality of this particular appliance, depending on how they're living in the space. So that was one of my favorites. I love it. And thank you for letting me chime in. I miss her sweet, happy face. I know. Thanks, I know. Arian. So yeah. obviously, yeah. when you hear this over and over again, it was a hit. So definitely worth looking into. And I don't think a lot of people common, you know, that don't do this for a living know what ki- Signature Kitchen Suites is. But like I think Jennifer, um, uh, Elizabeth mentioned, it's the it's the elite level of LG. And they have, we learned a lot about them. We went to Napa with them on a tour to see all of their products. And, you know, if you're interested in sous vide cooking, uh, so many options, Signature Kitchen Suites is is yeah. truly amazing in their product line. And then as Veronica mentioned, you can go onto the NKBA site, which is really for the general public. And this is where you can find out about all of these products and all the new things that are going on. Uh, because we're just touching on a small, small yeah. part of what's out there. Well, and a lot of people out there after COVID at, are renovating kitchens and bathrooms. And it is worthwhile to just do a little bit inv- of investigation to see. You probably haven't renovated or redone your kitchen in 10, 15 years. And the products that have come out in that time that you might not even know about are are and it amazing. And al- it also depends on the contractor, how much he invests in education for things to be able to show that to people or right. are they comfortable doing the same old thing? Exactly. So. Exactly. So okay. who's next? Next is Chelsea Butler. Hey there, it's Chelsea Butler, executive editor of Kitchen and Bath Business Magazine here in Atlanta. And although the exhibitor booth portion of KBiz Virtual did not turn out as planned, I did have a chance to catch up with several exhibitors during press tours before and after. And I wanted to note some of my favorites. I love the Max drawer system from Reva Shelf. It's the perfect solution for the person who wants everything in its place. And as we all know, no one wants to see clutter. It stresses people out. I also really like the Dark Canyon farmhouse sink from LK. That's designed to meet the needs of everyone in the home, but it, it does also meet ADA accessibility guidelines, which is awesome. Um, it does have a barrier-free space under it for wheelchair accessibility. I also love the Flow by Moen uh, micro lake technology that kind of instills peace of mind in today's homeowners. It allows the home to sense leaks, all that kind of thing, and lets you know immediately so you can have the water power turned off if you're away or if you're home. And to bring in a little color to the situation where, you know, I think we're all looking for some some good vibes this year. Chili is a vibrant new hue for Denver, Brown Jordan, and Trex outdoor, all outdoor kitchens. They've introduced a powder-coated color for its cabinetry, along with mint, cotton candy, all sorts of other colors. Enjoy! Oh, that was such good information. I love the sound of those colors. Yeah. I think people are are really looking for color these days. Um, and we know outdoor kitchens are a huge, huge thing. I I really love the idea of the flow by Mo and mm-hmm. Smart Water Shut Off. And I'm going to look that up because... You know, we have our lake house I talk about all the time and our good friends who have a house up there, too. Their house was completely destroyed by a leaking toilet that wasn't found for several weeks because we don't all go up there all the time. They're second homes. And so my question I'm going to look up is I have Brizo throughout my entire home. So can I use the Moen smart water shut off system if I don't have Moen products? I'm going to look that up. But that whole concept is so smart. So what happens is somehow through your phone your ipad something it will detect if there's a leak and and let you know right away so that you can go so i think it's i mean even if you have like a utility sink in your basement and you don't go down there for a couple Mm -hmm. days you don't necessarily know so it isn't really just for um second homes but i think it's a really really smart boy you can sure save some money yeah for sure 
And I also love the the farmhouse sink. I mean, we all love farmhouse sinks. The canyon color sounds super cool. But mm-hmm. but yeah, I mean, think about wheelchair accessibility doesn't mm-hmm. have to mean that you don't have good design. And yeah. and I love that. And I mean, those outdoor kitchens. Yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, you know chili, what, cotton what, candy, yeah. mint. Yes, please. What I love about all of these things is, of course, these all of these companies make beautiful products and they're they're beautiful to look at. But talk about function because I think in a kitchen and a bath function is key so the rev shelf and having everything in its place I mean how wonderful you know, is that I love that because you know if anybody's out there has a KitchenAid mixer you know how heavy that sucker is and to be able to have it in a, on a shelf maybe that you just pull out mm-hmm. <laughs> and you mm-hmm. don't have to lug it off the counter or whatever yeah yeah uh, that was great information Chelsea yes awesome okay next is Debbie Daly Hi, Joanne and Kelly. This is Debbie Daly from Debbie Daly Designs in Boston, Massachusetts. I wanted to share with you my experience, my first experience with KBiz Virtual and being part of the Design Hounds competition for Design Bites. And I wanted to share with you what my favorite product was. And it is the new Kohler Tone Kitchen Faucet, which comes in five configurations, different sizes. They have semi-pro configurations, which include a pull-down models, and they also include pull-down functionality to reach in tight corners of the sink. They have a standard single-handle pull-down as well. And they also have touchless upgrades um, for Cola Response and Cola Connect upgrades. That's for touchless and voice control functionality. They also have three models with featured sprays that have a sweep spray for a powerful blade of water that sweeps your dishes clean, boosts technology that increases the flow rate by 30% to fill pots and pans and an aerated stream for washing hands and produce. They also have five new finishes, the brush modern brass, the polished chrome, two-tone finishes, the matte black and brush modern brass, or the matte black and chrome, vibrant stainless, and brush modern brass. Wow, Debbie, thank you for all that great information. That was the one thing we didn't talk about was the voice control. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing I think you're going to be seeing a lot of is the voice control. You can I mean, tell you can tell the faucet, fill this at one half cup, mm-hmm. fill this two cups, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. But I yeah. also like the different configurations. configurations because I'm constantly switching between spray and the full flow because it's spraying all over me Mm -hmm. and that one with the three different options I could I would totally use that myself yeah who knew who knew right that's why we do these shows yeah so great okay next up is Jessica hey guys it's Jessica Jadus Design and I can't remember what else I was supposed to put www.jadusdesign.com my KBiz I'm going to share a Design Hound Design Bite product it was the Miele dishwasher. It's three racks of awesome. You can use that top rack like a new advantage rack. It's not just silverware anymore. It has a pocket handle. So um, you don't have to worry about your finish of your handles or that your handles don't match. You can incorporate this dishwasher into your kitchen design and not have to worry. Smudge proof stainless steel. I thought that was pretty cool. It is officially their most quiet dishwasher. And eco-friendly, uh, low water use, does everything under an hour, has a sanitary cycle. Boy, I, I'm so excited about a dishwasher. I know there's more, um, but there you go. Hmm. You know, you can get really excited about dishwashers. Yeah. I real. wonder, um, I'm trying to think. I feel like whenever I run my dishwasher, I don't even know how long it takes. Oh, I can tell you. So, Mine is, if I, do, if I don't do the quick, if I do the regular, mm-hmm. it's two and a half hours. <gasps> Oh, wow. I I kid you not. So under yep. an hour is so really good. So I do good. the quick one. But if I have like a completely yeah. full dishwasher, yeah, it's two and a half So hours. under an hour, that's pretty good. You yeah. could be like preparing for a dinner party and just have the stuff put away before people even get there. And that that third, that top pull out skinny mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. I, I have that in a less expensive version. At, at, and I love it. I put all of my the lids on my Tupperware oh. up there mm-hmm. so they won't like melt and get all yeah. kind yeah. of out of whack on the on the other shelves where it's too hot and I also put all of my big like serving spoons and stuff so like is that. So to- is it totally flat? It's so it doesn't totally have the little flat. Little spiky yes, things that come exactly. up. It's flat. So you just lay it on there and then it just slides right in so it doesn't cl- you know clog up the rest of the dishwasher. Yeah. So Miele, M- Miele so products cool are great. Stuff. I think people that aren't in you know in our, again in our industry wouldn't, yeah, it's wouldn't M- look at them. M-I-E-L-E. Yep. 
We got a lot of homework for you people out there. Yeah. This is a lot yep. to, okay. to, for you to look at. Okay. One more. Come on, Linda. Hi, this is Linda Merrill from Linda Merrill Decorative Surroundings in Massachusetts. And I didn't get to see a lot from KBIS this year because of the technical problems, but I loved some of the new offerings from Top Knobs. Um, I'm a real sucker for hardware and some of the new offerings and their classic offerings are just, they're very, well, classic, really beautifully presented. And I would be excited to use them in an upcoming project. Thanks so much. Great. Top Knobs is one of our favorites uh, for hardware, and you can really change the look of your cabinetry with hardware alone. And Linda always is another one. She always just has such great information. But yeah, I think it's another thing that people are kind of like, oh, hardware, I don't even know where to start. Where do I use a knob? Where do I use the pull? What size pull do I use? You know, that that whole thing. I just had a neighbor at the lake. We were chit-chatting, and she was like, my husband went to Lowe's, and he got this hardware, and it's so... It's so little and he wants the bigger poles, big, you know, big, we have these big custom cabinets and she just didn't know where to go. So just quickly, I said, you know, well, go to build.com. You can look up top knobs and Richelieu and Mm -hmm. and M tech and all these different brands that have great hardware selections, but top knobs is our, is our go-to. They just have great finishes. They have amazing collections and their price point is good. Yeah. Their price point is good and they ship really fast. Mm -hmm. So this is, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking about all this great information that we got from Malibu to Massachusetts to Tennessee. So they came through for us again. Thank you, everybody. Um, That was our eyes for us while we were well, we were too busy. Yes. And if you live in any of the areas where these lovely ladies said they live, look them up because every one of them is are, are amazing designers yeah. and, and really know their stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, um, well, before we get to our quotes, I, I have to say, I'm still reeling over yes. having Marlo Thomas I, I as know. a guest on our podcast. And as a matter of fact, last night, I went to Netflix and found um, that you can watch episode one of that girl and it was the one how she met donald and so uh, it just was just so fun to see to see that again and and um actually i looked and her products are available because they had sold out yes they're available again on pottery barn i know i was looking this weekend so excited that cheese board seriously i think i think my mom might buy it for my birthday i'm very excited yeah i think i want that too Yeah. yeah, it what? was it was such a treat, you guys. You got you got to listen to it. And even if you're younger and you're like, "Who is Marlo Thomas?" You still have to go listen. Yeah, to it. there's a lot of. I mean, there's other other takeaways other than the Williams Sonoma things, just about her her work with St. Jude and then her new podcast coming up uh, about marriage called Double Date. So that's really cool. All right, so the funny quote. I, I love when I can find a quote mm. that relates to our our podcast. And so I googled funny kitchen quotes, and there was <laughs> nothing. So. This just came out of, I don't remember where I got it. So this is it. I'm now at the age where I finally understand why anyone would be happy to win a new appliance package on The Price is Right. (laughs) It's truly exciting. I I mean, mean, it really is. You talk about a whole package. That's worth some money. Yeah. I mean, I just bought a new washer dryer. You would have thought I was buying a new car. It was so exciting. It gets delivered tomorrow. I can't wait to do my first load of laundry in my new Speed Queen. Okay. All right. Here's our serious quote. Really, people, listen. If you think good design is expensive, you should look at the cost of bad design. I mean... It's just like when we did the Ask Us Anything podcast. I I know, yep. And I believe it was Lisa calling in, and she said, how do you live Mm -hmm. with mistakes? And that's Mm -hmm. the hardest question in the world to answer because they're expensive and they suck. Yeah, well, there's that, that other quote that's something like, Buy the best and cry once. Yep. Or Miles something. Red. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because absolutely, sometimes you, you you're trying to save money or you're trying to, you know, oh cut go, corners, go, cut corners, and you'll pay for it every time. Yep. But part of part of why we talk about this stuff with our industry, we have we have a wide range of audiences. Even our designer friends, you know, not all of us could go to KBiz. Not all of us get to. You know, are, are, we're busy and we don't we don't tune in to learn what's what's the latest and greatest. And then there's plenty of of our audience that just listen to us for advice and guidance. Yeah. And you probably didn't even know there was yeah. such a thing as a two tone faucet or a touchless faucet well, or whatever. The, the thing is now, you know, uh, when we're going to our next you know project that involves one of these products, if we hadn't 
we didn't have time to go. So if we hadn't have done this, I wouldn't even know about that tutorial shop. Mm-hmm. So just, you know, keep listening and uh, looking. And if you're redoing a kitchen, you know, invest in the time because you, you there's nothing worse than finding about something after you after you're done. Like, yes. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know that was out there. So, yeah. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have a minute and you're sitting on your phone, if you could scroll down to the very bottom of the podcast page on your phone and leave us a review, we would really love that. A five star would be great. Yeah, it really helps our our navigation and helps people to find us. So thanks for listening, everybody. Join Joanne and Kelly weekly for a lively conversation about trends, travels to industry events, current design projects, the good, the bad, and the ugly, do's and don'ts, product recommendations, and more. Be sure to follow the fun on Facebook. They're on Instagram, at Candrac Cole. And of course, you've got to visit them online at candrac-cole.com for more information.